welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more so today we have a topic that is taboos in dentistry it is commonly asked for short note and uh, never a essay so let's see a few points about uh, taboo the definition is taboo is a strong social prohibition or ban relating to any area of human activity or social custom declared as sacred and forbidden so breaking of the taboo is usually considered objectionable or aberrant by society so that is taboo so let's see few of the uh, taboo existing in dentistry so our topic is dentistry so one of the myth in dentistry is removal of upper teeth affects vision so there is a that taboo among many people that removal of upper teeth affects vision this is a misconception vision is not affected by in any way undertaking treatment of the upper teeth including its extraction so that is one of the taboo the second one is thumb sucking by children leads to forward placement of upper teeth so we know that it is normal infant apt so until it is three years it is no okay so beyond that if the child persists there is chance of class 2 uh, profile or the upward or forward proclamation of teeth so, the, so the another myth is once a decay tooth is treated the dental problem is over so we know that it is totally baseless but still it remains as a myth among many people another one is professional cleaning scaling or removal of tartar loosens the teeth so why it is happening is uh, the patient might have calculus a heavy uh, calculus and uh, once the calculus is removed uh, because it was uh, acting as a support system um, by removing the periodontal structures so the moment uh, of after the scaling the patient might feel it is uh, loosening the tooth so that is actually not because of scaling because it was the removal of calculus so calculus removal is always good for health not bad so people might think in this way that cleaning or uh, professional scaling might cause loosening of the teeth another one is dental procedures are always painful so only few of the dental procedures are painful we know not all and another one is dental treatment should be avoided during pregnancy so we know that when to conduct uh, pregnancy uh, treatment dental treatment another one is the charcoal salt rice husk tobacco etc in powder form is better than toothpaste in cleaning teeth so we know that it is not at all good uh, if it is used in raw form the salt charcoal are uh, is being incorporated into toothpaste but in a very minute amount but if it is used in uh, raw form it might cause abrasion another one is cleaning the teeth with finger and powder is better than the toothbrush so we know that toothbrush is always good because uh, good because it is removing the interdental debris the fingers cannot remove it so there is more of plaque and more of caries a child never needs cleaning of milk teeth so that is another myth we know that we the child should be cleaning its teeth the mother should uh, help in cleaning the teeth because there will be always chances of caries another one milk teeth need not to be cared for because they last only for few years anyway it will be replaced by permanent teeth but it is a myth 
that we know that if it is not properly placed there will be loss of arch space and malocclusion and there is lot of problems arises if milk teeth are uh, exfoliated uh, milk teeth had to be extracted before time so these are the few uh, taboos existing in dentistry so if a short note comes you can write all these under taboos in dentistry i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you